What's going on, Machinima? My name is Hutch, and I make Call of Duty videos. And I'm going to try and be as lively as I can, considering that I bought this game at midnight last night and uh, proceeded to play it until 8.30 in the morning, and then woke up around 12 because the sun was shining and I couldn't, couldn't stay in bed. So I'm pretty tired, but I'm going to try and keep the energy high. Uh, what I got for you guys today is just some highlight clips, uh, some clips that I just got in the first day of owning this game. And today I want to share my opinion about whether or not the game has lived up to the hype that's been put on it. And uh, at this point I would invite you guys to do the same thing. Uh, if you bought this game and you've played it already, uh, did it live up to the hype for you? Is, is it a good game or is it a total shit game? Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think and I'm going to go ahead and take a look at those because I think it's interesting. So first of all you'll notice that there's a lot of sniper clips and... Predominantly in the Call of Duty series, I snipe more than anything else. Uh, and sniping in this game, I would say, is easier than in Call of Duty 4. Uh, mainly because there's no juggernaut. There, there is a death streak called Painkiller, um, which adds a ridiculous amount of health. Like, I, I have no problem with death streaks, and I think that it's actually not a bad idea. It does a lot to prevent spawn killing. But painkiller is redonkulous. Like, you can get two hit markers in a row with a sniper rifle from 10 feet away if that perk is activated for them. So that was mildly frustrating. But uh, apart from that, like, the fact that there is no set perk juggernaut makes a world of difference. Because in Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty World of War, a lot of players use juggernaut. And if you were in a lobby with you know, six on six and three people on the, on the other team were using Juggernaut. And that made your job extremely frustrating with a sniper rifle on. Uh, while you do run into the death streak from time to time, it's it's not that bad to say that it would, like, you know, really hold you back from doing a good job with a sniper rifle. The other thing, too, is that they added uh, Sleight of Hand Pro, which makes your scope zoom in uh, almost twice as fast. And so you're left with a situation here where your scope is coming up as quickly as it did in Call of Duty 2, which is awesome for those of us that like to snipe, especially those of us that like to be quick with scopes. Here you see me get a nice little uh, magnum snipe across the map there. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the maps themselves, I feel like they did a really good job. This map actually isn't a particularly good example because it's very linear. And it's this map was the only map that I that I saw that it was really easy to, to trap people in their spawn. Uh, but all the other maps there were multiple paths to get out of your spawn, and uh, I feel like in Call of Duty 4, you know, as as much as I love that game, it was reduced to to spawn trapping. And in this game, the maps are designed pretty well, so you can't really do that. Um, so I don't really have too much else to say right now. I'm gonna get back to playing the game, and then uh, I have a pretty good round that I'm going to give for you guys to watch. Uh, I'll post that to Machinima and then we'll see how long it takes for them to post it. But uh, Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this game? Do you, do you think Did it disappoint me? Is it the worst game you've ever played in your life? Chances are it's not, but you get the drift. Uh, leave a comment and if you feel like checking out my channel in the meantime, go ahead and do that. I frequently upload gameplays with commentary, montages, things like that. And I'm going to get back to playing this game because I think it's awesome. All right, peace out.